starts, I would like to have everybody give some thought in how to hold this dictionary. This <clears throat> is, I would call now, priceless. If there's anybody here who loves nature, I would encourage every one of you get a good picture dictionary and it will give you everything you need to know about the certain subjects that you are working on researching and working on getting ready to present in a professional manner. I would encourage every one of you, be very careful how you handle these. Never know what is going to. You never know what is going to happen to the backings of any of these dictionaries. Now, this one has been used, so I'm just asking everyone: if you look at these pictures <coughs> of swallowtail butterflies, handle it carefully, please. Madam Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters. <coughs> Everybody, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. This is a subject matter that should enlighten everyone. These are among our <coughs> most striking of all butterflies in a very synergistic manner. The reason I am using this subject is I saw my first tiger swallowtail butterfly or butterflies, let me say it like that. Papilo Proctus, <coughs> however the Latin term is, of our eastern tiger swallowtail butterflies. They are among our most striking of all butterflies indeed. They are named for the long tails that are going to be found on the hind wings, left and right. They can grow to almost six feet long. Oh, well, maybe not six feet long. There's a possibility <laughs> six feet <laughs> can be Multiple quite lines. monstrous. So let's narrow it down to six inches long. Let's say it like that. front legs of these <laughs> butterflies are fully developed. <laughs> and let me say it now, they are fully developed in both of the sexes, male and female. I was not that close when I was <coughs> in their habitat. It was a while ago when I saw them and I said, how beautiful these butterflies are. It was daytime and it was summertime and they were flying. Or close to summertime, let's say that. <coughs> they have a protective device and that is at the very top <coughs> of the larva, which is the caterpillar. And it protects it in the sense that if they are disturbed in any kind of a way, they will, many, many people don't realize, they can give off 
a different kind of odor. And that's when, if they are disturbed in any kind of a way. <clears throat> Nature tells people it's wise to not disturb these creatures. They need to be treated with the respect that they are due. As striking as they are, they at times become a pupa, which is the chrysalis. That's the pupil. The pupa that you're going to see on branches. And then later on, then they become Butterflies. Swallow tails come from a different breed. And the more they eat as caterpillars, when their last growth takes place, then they become strikingly beautiful. When I looked at this, I said, gorgeous. And they are, and they are more beautiful than the distasteful monarch. <coughs> I saw the habitat <coughs> in a hospice when my, one of my relatives was there in order to get himself better. Later on, he decided to go downhill. Not always too good of a day later on. And even up to the last day, I not only did hang in there with him, I stood there until his last days. So all I'm saying to everyone is, if you're a nature lover, look at butterflies as <coughs> your friends. Respect them, treat them with the respect they're due. Love them. Love the way they grow. Love the way they are. And just remind yourself that they will be your friend once you treat them with the respect they are in their habitat. Madam Toastmaster of the Day.